that, Sarah. And I'm still playing with my fuse, guys. I um, did some ATCs, but now I wanted to play with these um, cookie cutters that I found yesterday at Joann's. I got a mustache, a bow, and some lips. And I think they were 30% off, so around $4, I forget. Um, I couldn't wait to play with these, right? So first I did, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, I did the mustache, right? So here's the mustache. And actually I did it white on white. It's still a little wet. I put some of the, um, this is actually an enamel. It's by Ranger. Um, where is it? Here it is. In oh, it's by Ink Essentials. Enamel accents, black faux enamel. Um, and it's really runny. I'm not thrilled with it, but because this was just white over white, I wanted to outline it. So I did that, and I'm pretty happy with that how that turned out. But then I got to thinking, uh, why not use some of these? Now these again are those, these are um, index dividers. They have a tab on one side, and three holes on the other but this plastic is a really great quality for making I was using them for the um the faux dory inserts and stuff so then I thought well why don't I put the color behind so the colors on the back and the clear is on the front and I, I'm having trouble with how much glitter to put in because I am an overstuffer evidently um, I can't control myself so I did this one with the red and I love it now these are a bit bigger than a pocket letter I think um, I don't have well let me just grab my ruler um, but they they seem like oh, that's Matt they'll fit in a, po a pocket letter like this is four by two and a half is fine so it's gonna stick out the top if you wanted to put these in a pocket letter so I couldn't use my pocket letter plastic. So that's what led me to start using. And the clear is the report covers. This is the clear report covers, the ones with the spine that you can put on the um, edge. So anyway, so I wanted to do this with, the, these are coming up so easily. So I did a pink one. I'm really just starting to use beads. I wanted to use beads since these are bigger. So I went and found all my beads, my little beads. Um, Look at this bow. I did a purple bow. I'm still using sequins, but see this has a little bit of a narrow neck to it. So smaller would be better. So I, because I, I had like some bigger sequins, but I ended up taking them out. But I love it. And then with the purple in the background, it, it shows the shape better. So I want to do a blue bow. So we're, what I'm doing is I just cut enough to, that's going to um, cover, where's my bow? Right here. And again, I'm using the fuse tool. This is the We Are Memory Memory Keepers uh, Photo Fuse, it's called. And I have the pointy tip, which is the, um, this one cuts and seals at the same time. So I'm going to move my camera to the side. Um, I just have a little stack of paper underneath, and then um, you can fuse perfectly fine just like that. Now I put the colored paper on the bottom, because what I'm finding is, when it's finished, when you cut through it, I'm going to put this over here so you can see. Um, you can see through the white paper, so I'll show you. So let's go, and I'm just going to do one side first, and I'm going real slow. Not too much pressure, just slow. But see how, I don't know if you guys can see it, you can see the white paper showing through the blue background. So that's how I kind of know I've gone through both. See that? I can't see paper. Oh, yes, I can. Hold on. I've gone through both layers. So you just go slow. I'm um, going to need to move this a little. Sorry. I'm going to go around this corner. All right. On camera, it's definitely more awkward than off camera, but I'm going to pick this up and look, you can see it's fused, so that's awesome. I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to leave open um, like right here, this little section right here. So I'm going to fuse this whole other area 
and then I've already gathered up my sequins so I can finish this hopefully in under 10 minutes. It will take a few minutes. I'm not seeing any white. Now I see white. Then just go right back up. Now I see white totally. And just go slow. Turn that corner. These cookie cutters are pretty good. Um, they're really nice cookie cutters too. They're like powder coated, but they're easy to hold. That's what I like. I'm just gonna flip it around so you guys can see, but let's see if that cut. I'm still connected there. Still connected, but I'm gonna go around the whole thing till I get to the end, and I'll show you what I do then. Um, till I get to like, just so I have enough room to put some, um, to put the sequins in. So hopefully I'm not gonna take too long. Got to go pretty slow, but I'm seeing white. I think with the like, I'm I'm probably rushing a little because I'm on camera. All right, I'm gonna stop there. Now, whatever didn't cut, it's probably fused. But see this cut very nicely. That cut. So there's a couple places. I just take this and I tend to lean towards the outside as I'm pressing, so that it doesn't mess up the shape of the um, bow. So that's good. And then right here, I'm gonna, you push toward the outside of the line and then it, um, okay, so that seems all good. So now I just take my um, bone folder and I go in, it's, it's fused. So I already have some beads ready to go. I did bl a blue, I'm gonna put them, this is my little tool that I can kinda See, look how many I do. I overdo it all the time. I can't, uh, I don't know. All right, let's see if I can get this to go in here. I have so many. All right, let me shake that down in there. There's a couple of big sequins. There we go, get them to go down the middle onto the other side. So. You know, this bow is a little bit trickier, like the lips are awesome because it's just all free, free shakeage. Oh God, I'm making a mess. All right, whatever. All right, see, cause I put too many. That's okay, I'm gonna give this a squeeze in the middle. Oops, try not to make too much. Oh, it's too late. I already made a mess. But you know what I should have done is cut off. Okay, good. Cause you can cut this off so it's not like in your way when you're done. So now, I think I'm just gonna fuse this because um, I'm running out of time and I think there's plenty in there. And I just make sure you put it the right way because there is a top and a bottom to this bow, okay. And I like to put it kinda um, on the bow again, not, um, hold on, because actually that doesn't seem like it's the right way. This is the right way. Oh, there's a piece. That's all right. I'll, I'm sure the glitter. Oh wait, I gotta move it. I don't think I'm gonna make it to nine minutes because um, fumbly. I'm a little too fumbly. It's always that way on camera, you know. Yeah, I'm already at nine. All right. All right. It won't turn off on me now. Just let me fiddle this around. Okay. So I'm gonna put it back on. I've seen some people um, put the glitter in between the pages before you start. I can't do, I haven't done that and I'm not gonna do that, but this works just fine. I just, there's a sequin there. I don't even know if I'm in the shot. Yeah, I am, okay, good. I'm right on a sequin. There we go. So the sequins won't let you fuse. I gotta push it out of the way. There we go. That is definitely cut. And just this little section here. Hmm. Yeah, 
There he is. So hopefully now it's it's all fused because, but like I said, if you need to fix it, so I'm going to pull it off and then I'll check. Okay, so this doesn't want to, and because I'm not real, well I did, I put um, micro beads in here. So there is some little stuff, but I'm going to shake it. Like if you just hold it like that, kind of give it a shake. Nothing is falling out. Try to get some of those bigger ones down. There we go. But I have a problem with putting too much stuff in still. I'm just, I'm a, I'm a sequin lover, I guess. And then you can always just kind of touch it and burn any dangly little edges. But look at that. See, I don't like that little edge. That's it, guys. So look at that cute little bow. I made a blue one and a purple one. So just enjoy, keep going, keep playing. Um, I mean, I have all these things. I have all these beads and sequins. So I figured, you know, I want to use them. And, uh, you know, I mean, I think I like the color behind it better than putting the um, this on it. I don't know. I like this too. I wish stickles stuck because the stickles looks amazing. But it doesn't stick. Like after it dries, it um, peels up. So, but that's it guys. Thanks for watching.